to this press conference. Thanks for joining us. It's such a great number of persons. That sounds promising that a lot of you will also tell about the ability of the German manufacturers. <laughs> well, we think that the textile manufacturers all over the world are confronted with different challenges. Well, one is of course that governments, but also the consumers are looking very much into detail how things are produced, how things are done. If there are problems, then they say, oh, I will not buy that again. So <coughs> resource saving and environmental friendly and good workforce is important for all manufacturers. And of course, it's our duty to have a look at the ecological business part. We can do it the right way, or we can do it another way. But we feel the responsibility that we have as machine manufacturers. So sustainable development for us is more just a nice, much more than just a nice word. We want to fill it with real life. And on the other hand, of course, it's a competitive factor. It can help you to produce better and cheaper. And on the other hand, you can, even in a high loan country, can produce something which uh, you perhaps not even produce somewhere else in other um, <coughs> countries. These things have to be balanced. The ecological, economical, and the social responsibility have to be balanced. <coughs> and therefore, a long time ago already, VDMA initiated the Blue, Blue Competence Initiative. And it gives guidance to identify those manufacturers who respond with their products and their production to economy, ecological, and social responsibility in a way that we feel is responsible and sustainable. But coming back to our customers, that's why we are here on IFMA. They are also faced with a, quite a number of challenges. They have to produce faster and faster. They have even more difficult products to produce, so they have to change their machine settings. The number and meters that they are produced are getting shorter. So therefore, the machines have to be also very adjustable and flexible. For this reason, as our, as a, uh, our association made this great new leaflet, we call it Master the Art of Sustainable Innovation. And we report on topics, on very different topics, to provide guidance to our customers. It has, may I show it over here? The big one. <laughs> so that's what we are talking about. And it has examples on production capabilities, how to produce really better with the machines. Yes, there are three seats in front. Three, three seats, three. Mr. Adu, here in the front. Here in front. Mr. Carlo Adu, please. Thank you. I need a bus to walk around here. There's one more three. Sure, is a compilation of practice things that we have developed and we think it gives a good overview on the different approaches on how to be sustainable. So we really would like you to also have a look at it and perhaps also transport it in your magazines what we have done and uh, put together here. Of course we think that German textile manufacturers are very known for their technical capabilities. But we think technical know-how is one thing. What we want to provide to our customers is also the technological advice. We want to have a broader look to how textiles are produced. And therefore, you have to look at the whole setup of companies. And then you really can save energy and be more sustainable. Therefore, we think 
the technological advice it's very hard to put into a paper because that's know-how of people, but that's what we are all working on. What we also have done is detailed calculations on how to really save money with the production of definite kind of textiles. So we have looked how much energy do you need to produce, for example, a t-shirt? And how much energy you could save if you use German-made machines over the whole product line? That's one example. The other thing is, for example, billboards. You can produce it in this way or the other way. And the team of Mrs. Schmidt has made a whole calculation over the whole process line how to be even more efficient and sustainable. So compared to what we have produced 10 years ago as machine builders, we can now say that with our machines, you could save up to 30% of energy. And this is quite a number. But of course, and this is something we also want to point out, it's not only the machine, it's not only the technological aspect of it, but it's also how people are making use of this technology. So it also lies in the hand of the user, of our customers, and how we train the customers to use the machines in the best way. Because even with the machines that they have, you can use them in a way where you save money and save energy and be sustainable, or you can use them in a different way. So our approach is also to have some systems that guide people on how to better use the machines with know-how systems, um, we call them um, assistant systems, so that people are producing even more sustainable in future. So let me summarize. We have done a lot. We have put everything together in the brochure, but more details will follow from Mrs. Schmidt and her team who has, she has worked really hard on this. And I hope that you also get a lot of information for this, for your expertise and your magazines. So thank